Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jonah Bala, your spiritual guide. I'm here to talk about spirituality, reason why we need to be spiritual son. Because we are living in a dark age, where by most of the things that are happening are no longer natural, rather they are spiritual. So for you to become outstanding in this terrible generation, a generation whereby it is very difficult to know who is your enemy. Who is your enemy? Who has been working against you? My dear lovely brother and sister, I'm here to tell you that witchcraft is real. Forces are real. If someone wants to get rid of you, he does not need to confront you one-on-one -on -one or physically. Rather, he go to you in the spiritual. And that is why... I call my channel the spiritual control the physical. There is no way you can prevail when you are surrounded by forces. The only way you can free yourself, you can liberate yourself, is for you to rise up and fight. Fight! Because the days are evil. The introduction of this video is to create awareness to my viewers. There are some of those things that you are going through, you are passing through, are not ordinary anymore. Rather, they are spiritual. Confusion in your family, unusual things are happening to you, and you don't even know what you have done. You don't know where they are coming from. Sometimes with lady, especially when a lady wants to get married and all of a sudden she got disappointment. These are not natural. They are not natural. They are not ordinary. Most of the times you'll be expecting some huge amount of money, some huge amount of money. People will promise you here and there all of a, and all of a sudden everything will, 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 will just disappear. And you think they are ordinary. My dear lovely brother and sister, they are not ordinary. The time has come for you to rise up and fight. Fight for your family. Fight for your children. Fight for your grandchildren. Fight for yourself. Many things are happening. In the book of I mean, in the book of Ezekiel chapter 47 verse 12, the Bible said, and the Lord God Almighty said, that the fruits and the trees are created from the century. They are for food. They are for food. But their leaves are for the healing of the nation. I am going to teach us on how to pray with natural things. I am going to expose secrets on this channel. I'm going to teach you on how to become spiritually strong. How you can confront your enemy at the gates. This is not a time of running anymore. This is a time of confrontation. This is a time to fight. This is a time to take what belongs to you. This is a time to become outstanding. This is a time to say to your enemy, enough is enough. Are you not tired of going to prayer houses? How many prayer houses have you visited? Yet there is no result. You have so seed. Huge amount of seed. You have prayed. You have fasted. My dear, lovely brother and sister, you are surrounded by black magic energy, by black powers. And once a man or a woman is infused with negative energy, there is no way your prayer we go now sometimes when you are praying they are there laughing at you from the book of Ezekiel chapter 47 verse 12 the Lord say that, the, that from the tree I created and their fruit they are for food but their leaves are for the healing of the nation this is how God want us to do this is what God wants us to do the natural things 
we are created by our heavenly God, our heavenly Father, the Almighty God, the Omnipresent, the Omnipresent, and the Omnipotent. This channel does not belong to Christians alone. This channel does not only belong to Muslims. This channel belongs to everybody, irrespective of your religion. It belongs to everybody. And the time has come to know the secret. The Bible says from the book of Ezekiel, the Bible says, and their trees and their leaves are for the healing of the nation. From the book of Revelation chapter 22 verse 2, the Lord said, from the tree are created, they are for food. The tree are created, their fruits are for food. But their leaves are for the healings of the nation. Go to Genesis chapter 9 verse 3. The Lord said, I have given you everything. In the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19. He said, I have given you the authority to trample upon snake and scorpion and to overcome all the powers of the enemies. My dear lovely brother and sister, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Are you not tired? They have sent different kinds of sickness to your body. You have gone to so many doctors, yet they have not even seen anything. Sometimes they see another sickness, strange sickness, a sickness that is very expensive. These are what we call spiritual projection. My brother, my sister, if you are spiritually projected, I am telling the truth, is the only God, the Almighty God, can deliver you. In this channel, I am going to show you on how to fight. I am going to show you on how to free yourself from every spiritual bondage. I am going to show you on how to break every curse that has been speaking against your life. I am going to show you on how to break ancestral curses. I am going to show you on how to break any curse. Any curse by any man or woman. If there is any man or woman from the south, from the east, from the west, from the north that must have done any evil against you. That must have pronounced any curse against your life. I will reveal secret to you on how to break it. You are going to bounce back. You are not going to see 2022 with this the same problem. Yes. We are approaching 2022. And it's our year of shining. Enough is enough. Are you suffering from witchcraft attack? The end has come. Are you that kind of person that always eat in the dream? Most of the times you see yourself eating in the dream. My brother and sister, these are terrible spiritual attack. When you see yourself eating, it means you eat you are eating sickness, poison. Bad luck, misfortune, blockage, disappointment, setback. I will show you on how to destroy all of them. Are you that kind of person that always see dead people in your dream? Seeing masquerades flogging you. Seeing dead people chasing you. I will show you on what to do. The time has come. The Bible says, since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the men of violence took it by force. They did not waste any time. Never. They did not negotiate with their enemies. Rather, they took it by force. They refused to fall. They refused to die at the hands of their enemies. My brother and sister, wake up. Rise up. Fight. God has raised people from different places to reveal secrets 
on how to deliver yourself. Don't be afraid. The Lord of Almighty is always by your side. He is the one to give you victory. On this channel, I'm going to reveal to you on how to pray with natural things, on how to destroy altars, on how to destroy spiritual marriage, on how to destroy any evil manipulation, on how to remove spiritual sickness from your body. I will show you things by the grace of God. I'm not going to hide any secret from you because you are my family. My purpose here on this earth is for me to fulfill the mission of my calling. The Lord calls me to fulfill my destiny here on earth by revealing secrets to his people on how to fight against forces. My brother and sister, stop crying. Stop crying. The time has come for you to, to forget about what is happening to you. God has come to wipe away your tears. You have shed tears for a very long time, for many years. The more you shed tears, the more your enemies laugh at you. Because they thought they have finished you. But this is good news. The Lord said that for this reason, Jesus was man manifested to destroy every powers of darkness in your life. And you will destroy powers that has been speaking against you. Most of the times, you'll be walking on the streets and all of a sudden, a public street, a busy road, and all of a sudden, you begin to experience cobwebs. These are witchcraft attack. These are blockage. These are setback. Whenever something good is about to happen to you, you begin to experience cobwebs on your body, on your face. And you begin to remove them and you never see them. These are witchcraft attacks. Are you suffering from bad luck, from spiritual sickness? The time has come for you to know the secret and to free yourself. This is not a time to cry anymore. This is not a time to become a church monkey going here and there. You have spent so much money and yet there is no solution. The law has come to show you the way to be liberated. You went to places to the end and whereby they keep, they, 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 they keep telling you your problem without solution. What is, what is the need for you as a spiritualist, as a man of God, to see the problem of someone and you cannot provide a solution? It should be better for you not to see her problem, not to tell her her problem. Than for you to tell her the problem without solution, that is useless. If you are going to tell someone his problems, what he or she is passing through, then you should be rest sure that you are there to provide solution to her problems. But why telling her her problem without solution? It's like worsen the situation. When you begin to tell her some certain things you go through, and without solution. By the time she begins to hear those things, he begins to hear those things, it will increase more to her problems. It will be better for you not to tell her and to provide the solution. <laughs> Sorry, please. <laughs> the time is now. God is going to rise up a chariot of fire. God is going to create a wall of fire. God is going to fight for you. Anywhere you are in this world, God is going to reach you. I'm making this introduction for the whole world to know. The time has come for God to free his people. We are going to use the things God created. Satan has not created, did not create anything. 
We are going to create those things that God created. We are going to wisdom to pray. We are going to use those things to pray. We are going to open heaven. We are going to open our doors. I don't know what you are passing through. But I'm here to tell you that whatever you are passing through, as long as it's spiritual, you are free. I'm going to reveal to you some spiritual tips which you are going to use to apply. And by the grace of God, Almighty God, you will see light at the end of the tunnel. You have suffered enough. You have seen rejection. You have seen torment. You have experienced hatred. You have cried so much. You experienced so many disappointments. The law has come to put a smile on your face. Don't be afraid. Don't have any doubt. Keep your hope alive. And God will come to your rescue. The world is full of evil. There is no place you will go. You will not see evil people. You see them in your workplaces. You see them in your family. You see them in your location. In the environment you live, you stay. You see them there. Anywhere you go, you see them. There is no place you will go. You will never see them. All what you need to do to yourself is for you to be spiritual sound. Protect yourself spiritually. Be spiritual sound. Know the secrets. And you the secret to save your family. <laughs>